Hello and welcome to the Thursday, March 28th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Madrid, Spain. Windows 10 users who are using Google Chrome or Firefox will now be able to download an extension from Microsoft that will supply Microsoft's Extension Guard feature to these browsers. Now, the way this feature works is that it is really meant for an enterprise network. So an enterprise administrator needs to define a list of trusted or untrusted websites if a user is browsing to a website that's not on the trusted list, then this browsing session is automatically opened in Microsoft Edge. And Microsoft Edge in this mode is running in a sandbox that limits communication to the rest of the system. The idea here is that even if Microsoft Edge should be compromised by a malicious website, well, uh, that compromise will be limited to the sandbox and the rest of the system will remain unharmed. Of course, Microsoft Edge as a browser has received quite a bit of criticism and isn't terribly popular. So one could see this as a way how Microsoft is trying to trick Google Chrome and Firefox users into using Microsoft Edge. But overall, sounds like an interesting security feature. And like I said, really more meant for enterprise networks where you have someone that manages a list of trusted and untrusted websites. And researchers at the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology have created a new fuzzer for LTE. Fuzzers, well, it's a type of security testing software that more or less bombards a system with random or close to random input in order to identify new vulnerabilities. A lot of the effectiveness of these fuzzers, of course, depends on how well they are written and designed to actually still send a valid enough input in order to trigger the odd behavior that they are looking for. And in this particular case, these researchers were able to find 36 new vulnerabilities in the design and in the implementation among different characters carriers and vendors. For the test, they used several devices that were connected to two different network operators. Now, the severity of uh, these vulnerabilities ranges from a denial of service, where essentially it would be possible for an attacker to disconnect a handset from the network, all the way up to actually intercepting and manipulating data being sent over LTE. Currently, a lot of the more mainstream methods in order to intercept LTE will actually not intercept LTE, but rather use a denial of service in order to downgrade the connection of the device to an older network technology that then tends to be easier to intercept. The fuzzing software itself will not be released according to the paper. However, it is built around a set of open source libraries. So certainly possible that someone would be able to reproduce this research. And if you are using one of NVIDIA's GeForce graphics cards, it's time to update the Experience GFV. Experience GFV is additional software that's typically installed with these video cards. It allows you to maintain drivers used for the video cards, but also allows you to record screen sessions and the like. The problem with the existing software is that it does write to files that are not properly secure. And it's a very common issue actually that leads to privilege escalation. In this particular case, the software is writing to files that are owned by everyone and can be written to by everyone. So they could easily be replaced with a symbolic link to point to another file. And with that, an attacker could overwrite arbitrary files on a system. And since the software runs as a system, it's possible to pretty much overwrite everything and also modify pretty much any file on the system, which then can lead to privilege escalation. An extensive blog post by David Yesland does describe how to exploit this vulnerability with some simple sim linking and how to actually then execute arbitrary code as system. 
Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.